Welcome back to the judgiest place on the internet, boys, girls, and non-binary folks. My name's Josh. My name is Rick. And my name is Christian. And do we you, are... Do you want another chance so that you can sing your name? No, I'll let you have this spotlight. I split the difference. Yeah. And we are... The, the Judges. Back and singer than ever. Singer, huh? Yeah, more sing. Hmm. More sing. Actually, it's because we're sponsored by the number one sewing machine company in the world. Oh, uh, that would be <laughs> sick. I could I could use a new sewing machine. Mine's we, from 2008, so... Mine? I don't... Does it... I guess I don't know the aging process on a sewing machine. I don't either. In my brain, a sewing <laughs> machine's like, that's from 2008, so you have 40 more years left on it? I also have a sewing machine from 19... 12 or something like 1912. that. 1912. That's before women could vote. Well, they could sew, so... Hmm. Could they? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure. We don't know. I don't know when women's rights were sewn, hmm. so to speak. Hmm. Um, I feel like there is a probably like with most home appliances that some time period around 2000 to 2008. They all started taking a shit. Right. Where it's quality. like you could have a sewing machine from like 2004 and it's like better than ever. Yeah. But if you got one at like 2011, it's like, oh, it's shit by 2014. Yeah. You know, that's made to break, right? Yeah. Hmm. It's like how ma- how many American appliances are like that now? Yeah, it does all of them. Yeah, when I moved in our house, our air conditioner is from 1967. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I never had an. Well, I did have a weird issue. It wouldn't shut off. It would just the fan <laughs> would be blowing all the time. Yeah, probably not great for the environment. So I got replaced. I've had our new air conditioner for four years, and it's broken down three times. Yeah, now. isn't that wonderful? It's fucked up, honestly. But we have a good warranty, so yeah, haven't had to pay for it. Uh, well, it's like, uh, I remember I would rake leaves my first year living here. And then I asked to borrow your, I think it was your dad's leaf blower at the time. Yeah. And it was a <laughs> brand leaf blower and it looked like fucking dog shit, but it worked so good. And yeah. I was like, man, what a fucking steal. <laughs> <laughs> what a, like, uh, like, uh, uh a glowing recommendation for yeah. that. And I bought a <laughs> blower and it's been wonderful yeah it's it's great it's like man just one of those companies that makes good fucking products yeah doesn't that suck doesn't capitalism suck guys yeah it sure does and we're not sponsored by in fact bleep their name or in fact bleep their name anywho we are sponsored by our fans and sometimes oh. they send us in mail over at p.o box illinois 58 what p.o box 58 ottawa illinois there 613 Five zero. Yes. Some people are saying the rumors are. Some people are saying it. Anyway, this is from Sarah and Patrick. We would love your company at the couple's wedding shower. Ooh, just missed on it. November fourth. What's a mm. wedding shower? Um, you shower the couple with gifts. So it's like a baby shower. Yeah. Okay, so we didn't get invited to the wedding, just no. the wedding shower. Yeah, that's less um, formal. But like we weren't gonna go to either, so like why wouldn't you just invite yeah, us to no. the wedding? Uh, they just in case because you're a, a real piece of here. shit. They added a note. Ooh, it says hi. Hello. Hello. I wanted to start this out by saying that Patrick and I would not be in the place we are without you and your brand. Whoa. We have a brand. Smiley face emo- emoji. Gone. Emo- emoticon. <laughs> Just say emoji. It's uh, not an emoji. It's like all two, three, seven, or whatever. Yeah. yeah, don't say emoticon though. We could not imagine celebrating without you. We are such big fans and really bonding over our shared love. Love the future newlyweds. Oh, it's so sweet. Thank awesome you. Awesome that our podcast held your shit together. Yeah, <laughs> we all do you fuckers down. All right. <laughs> And then we got another invite. Oh, uh, Sarah and Patrick are from Texas. And we have a save the date for the wedding of Jacqueline and Ryan from Kennedy. Ohio. And they are getting married. They are getting married October 5th of 2024. Whoa. Oh, we haven't we may, missed it yet. We maybe will go to that one. We will. Super busy. We do need to do a judges tour of weddings. We do oh need to do this. God. They're not wait we'll we'll do a mini tour and we'll just go to people's weddings yeah we'll just travel like to like 17 different states and go to people's weddings 
all throughout like a one month period. Okay. Can it be states I haven't been to yet so I can mark them off my list? Whoa. If we have people, where, name five states you haven't been to. Um, California. Actually, there's not that many on my list left. <laughs> Arizona, New Mexico, Texas. Okay. So the Southwest. Um, also the Northwest. Okay. Really? But you just went to the Northwest. No, I didn't. Not all the way. I went to Utah and Utah. Wyoming. Yeah, but you went to Salem. Massachusetts. That's the Northwest. That's the Jesus North Christ. East. I'm so dumb. I'm so stupid. I'm just I can like, end <laughs> the episode now if you want. Yeah, bleep out what I said. East. And then put that <laughs> in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, how does that help me? You just went to Utah. Editor. And Idaho. <laughs> and Wyoming and Montana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Utah. So what do you yeah. need over there? Like Oregon and Washington State? Yep. And California. Um, we could just, yeah, go down the West Coast and then tickle the butthole. I also need yeah. North Dakota. I've been South Dakota. I need North Dakota. Bismarck? Mm. <laughs> yeah. I also need Duluth. Maine and Rhode Island and Connecticut and New okay. Jersey. So if you live in any of those states and you're getting married in late 2024. And Alaska and Hawaii and Puerto Rico. Oh, I don't think we can Oof. do those. Ooh. Did Molly fart again? Molly, Oof. girl. I'm telling you, hang Molly, on. Molly, that was rough, Bef- babe. Before we started recording, I said, it smells like Molly farts up here. And you're like, I just love her so much. <laughs> that well, I now don't she's mind right it. next to me. <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, what are we feeding this dog? All those vitamins. Anyway, we have another package. Uh, if you're living the West Coast, <laughs> late 2024, send us a thing. Whoa! Oh. Look at this little guy. Oh, precious, there's more. I'll get the last one. A big, plushy, soft, oh. crocheted carrot. Banana. Ooh, and a little tiny banana. And a little tiny octopus. The carrot is giving veggie tails. It is. It's got a face. This one's got a face. Does the banana have a face? Nope. Well, but it's a cute Look at banana. its asshole. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Molly, these ones aren't for you. I'm so sorry. Who are these this from? is more ammunition. Oh, there's a letter. Hello, judges. Hello. You can use my name. It's Viviana or Viviana. Or Vivania. Or Vivania. Or Vivania, yeah. <laughs> and I'm from Texas. I've been listening to y'all for about two months and I'm addicted. I went back and listened from the beginning and I think I can call myself an official piss baby now. Love that for you, Viviana or Viviana or Vivans. <laughs> Erica is always right. And I wish Josh and Christian would shut the fuck up and let her talk. <coughs> That's a fair criticism of the Crazy show. that I have to edit that out. Even with the cons- even with the constant interrupting, I love tuning in every Monday to listen to y'all banter amongst each other and judge people. I'm sure everyone at my work thinks I'm crazy since y'all make me LOL so often. My favorite story so far has been the girl who buries cans of beans and the jar of poop collectors. An honorable mention. As an honorable mention. I don't want to talk about that one. <laughs> oh, that's that's the closest you've ever been to throwing up on the show. You were so pregnant. That was such a vile story. It was such a good story. She's having flashbacks. I think I it was like flashbacks. That made my stomach turn. I think that was like one or two episodes before our break. Yeah. Like, that was, like, right on up there. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, the banana feels detachable. How I'm fun. I'm so glad you let your intrusive thoughts win there. No, I, so I skipped ahead and I read that. Oh, <laughs> I thought you just had, like, the biggest brain moment to be like, <laughs> I need to stop this and just what pull if? the banana out. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed the plushies I included. The carrot is for Erica. I'll be. Of course. Some could argue that it's for Josh. Interesting. Because I will be throwing it at him. It's sort of a socialist carrot. It's yeah. kind of, you the, know. It's the people's carrot. Yeah. It's, you know, yeah. from what from those what they can give and to those what they need. It kind of thing. says, yeah. I figured Christian and Josh could fight over the other two. The banana peel is detachable, by the way. If you'd like to see more of my creations, you can give me a follow at viv.artfarts. Great name. And at with love for peace. I don't know what that's on. I'm assuming Instagram. Can't be X. Can't be X. Kisses and pisses. X O X O X O X. Could Viv. be X. Viv. Okay, that's a lot easier than Vivania or whatever. What happened to the jellyfish? <laughs> it's an octopus. Christian. Was was I don't the? Know. Didn't I give it to you? Was the octopus one of the, like in the? 
reversible ones that went from happy to sad? I don't know. Did Molly take it and then run away? It could be. Mal! I think this Did person, you take the octopus? I think this person might be a member of our Discord, because I think they just posted a picture of their crocheting things today. Oh, love that for you. And this if you want to so be a soft. member of our Discord, head over to patreon.com slash judges pod. It's $1 for the Discord, $5 for monthly bonus episodes, and $10. <gasps> no, Molly. You can't have my carrot. And $10 for month weekly bonus episodes. And honestly... The bonus episode's even better than the mains. Ooh. Weekly bonus episode. All listener submitted stories over on the bonus episode. But we don't do... Can you see if she stole a, a crochet octopus? A purple octopus? It's a little purple guy. She did. Hey. Hey. Oh, it's slobbery. Oh, and I'm a Molly. bad guy for thinking this looks like a jellyfish. Yeah, jellyfish have way longer tentacles. Any Not hook. a cute one. Anywho, we don't only do listener submitted stories on the main feeds, but we do have some people pick out stories on the main feeds. And this week, that's Erica. And that's because she went online and found silly little stories. Oh, thoughts? Yes. (laughs) Yep. I got Facebook drama. Whoa. This is from a girl I know. Whoa. This is, I found this in the wild on my feed. You have to, did you have to reach out to me like, Hey, I saw you were in a little bit of drama. Can you give me some deets on that? No, should I have? Spill the tea. No, no just make it anonymous. And we're yeah, right. I was going to make it anonymous. But yeah. anyway, this is a girl I went to college with. I don't, she's one of those people where like I had multiple classes with her. Yeah. Talked to her a handful of times, friended her on Facebook, and then it like never really went anywhere. Mm-hmm. And then we never had classes again together. And it was like a, hey, I think I know you kind of deal when you walk across campus, you know? I I have a very short anecdote, if you will allow me. I guess I will allow it. Um, I had the... Oh, I think I deleted the message. I had this guy who I was, I was uh, lab partners with one year, and him and I had got... We were so tight. Like, we were such good friends. And I thought it was going to be, like, the one friend that I would make in college and, like, hang out with outside of class. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was, it was like, in our... We had trimester, so it was in the spring trimester, and we became really, really good friends. In whatever class, I think it was physics one, and Nerd. then the summer hit, and I was staying up in Naperville over the summer, and so I messaged him on Twitter, and I was like, "Hey, would love to hang out," and I wish I had it because it was the cringiest message I could have ever sent, and it definitely looked like I was trying to like the one you sent was the cringiest yeah. message. That's I so definitely, awesome. it definitely probably came off that I was trying to hit on him. To I like mean, even though I, I would love to hang out, yeah, that's already. It was for guys. I pretty... wish I still had it because I just remembering it makes me like internally be like, I should not have sent that. Mm-hmm. I just think back to all the time we spent together and how just how much joy you brought me. I would love to reignite this spark we had. And he didn't respond. And yeah. then, you know, I saw him in person and he's like, hey, Josh, what's up? And I was mm. like, hey, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> we both know that I sent you a message and you didn't respond. So now it's weird. Mm-hmm. You could have just done like a, I'm going here. To watch the game. Do you want to join? He could have. I could have. He did it. Would have been a lot smarter to do that. Yeah. A lot less cringe. I, yeah. Probably would have made that friend. I think I opened with a pun. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. About skiing. Oh, no. I, Are you being genuine? I think so. I think that's what I remember. Why would you do that? Uh, How's ski doing over there? <laughs> oh, my <pal>? God. <laughs> Yeah. Anywho. Oh. It's so funny too because no, he's big in the snowmobiling, dude. It's actually really cool and smart and clever. Uh he his like I think his like grandpa or uncle or something was like a professional hockey player. Mm. He is Naperville, so like everybody there has some sort of like loose connection to being wealthy. You really fucked up. And his girlfriend at the time, uh, he was like, Yeah, she runs like a meme account on Twitter that had like fifty thousand followers. So we really could have, like, it would have, you know, taken this podcast off if we could have gotten to that bag. Yeah, that would have really been awesome. Dude. Yeah. Maybe I'll reach out to him now. Yeah, do that. Do hey, that. you know what would be wild? Hmm. He's a listener. Uh, Keegan, bud, if you're listening, <laughs> let me know. Keegan. That would be crazy. He does still follow me, so. Reach out. Tag him right now. Oh, and he's pro-Palestine. Even better. Whoa, great. We're loving this for us. Tweet right now at him. <laughs> well, like, hey, I man, like... I was just thinking about you. <laughs> Think about that missed opportunity we had to hook up. Meet up. I, 
I just remember, yeah, <laughs> how good of a time we had. I would love to rekindle it. This is such great news, reading this and, and like seeing that they're not a bad out, person. Yeah, this is not a bad person. <laughs> well, we don't know that entirely. That's true. That's he true. He could have dog shit other opinions. That's true. That's true. Did I mute him? Like, why have I never... I did mute him. <laughs> oh, God. Keegan, stop listening. Stop listening. <laughs> I am muted. I am muted. I was like, how have I never seen his retweets about this? <laughs> That's so funny. Josh, I follow you. Like, I have notifications for you on Twitter, yeah. Josh. And I still don't get notifications from you. The website's dog shit. Yeah. I get a notification every time the both of you tweet. I fucking... Well... I wish I still did. I'm glad you do. Cra- that's that's you. That's hurts my feelings that you tell me that because mm-hmm. you don't like anything. You, you liked brutal. one of my tweets today, and I was like, long time, <laughs> long time that she's liked Whoa, one of my she tweets. Been on Twitter in a long, long time. <laughs> Anywho, let's well, stop digregging. Literally, the only time I open that app is uh, to clear when the I, notification. <laughs> literally, that's it. I cannot Piece have that shit. red dot. I cannot. You can't even give Josh a pity light. <laughs> No. I mean, a lot of the times they're kind of crazy when I'm tweeting off. Well, the notification just says like Pishin Christian s- s- tweeted and I yeah. don't. Oh, It really? doesn't say the tweet. I have to click on mm. it to then be taken to it. Interesting. And I'm, I don't got time for that. I'm literally just there to clear the notification. Interesting. So. You didn't like name a woman. How about we let women name themselves? It's 2023. Fine. That seems right up your alley. Yeah. It's fine. Oh, you don't care about women. TikTok trends. You're not liking Taylor Swift's making a lot of sense now. I know that story. <laughs> anyway, met this girl in college. Friends on Facebook. She did a boudoir shoot. Okay. Everybody knows what that is. Sexy? Yeah. Okay. They can be like lewd. And they can be fully nude. Okay. They, oh, like this is what the story is about. Yes. I thought it just you were saying in college she had one. Sorry. No, I'm saying that she did one as an adult. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to tell you about it. Uh, she posted four days ago, for my friends in a certain boudoir group that just saw the status about me, if you want to know the truth, uh, just uh, ask me. What? I'll be more than happy to share the shady shit that went on. Oh. Remember, there are always two sides to every story with the eyes covered monkey emoji. Okay, you lost me. You lost me a little bit on that. So, uh, what a hook! What a hook! What a I uh, know, I know. I was at Courtney's house when I was scrolling through Facebook, and I saw this, and I was like, "Ooh, mm, yum, 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 yum. let me get all the details on that one." T. This is the only thing reason I miss Facebook. It's yeah. just seeing posts like that. And she's like, "I gotta dig into that." <laughs> so, give me a name for my friend, Roxanne. Roxy. Right. Listen, I know a Roxanne, and she's the worst fucking person I've okay. never met. So Molly. All right, we'll go with Molly. And then give me another feminine name. Tiffany. Sure. All right, so my friend is Molly. Uh, Queen Tiffany in the comments with eyes emoji, what happened? Feel free to private message me if you want. Don't add that in. Yeah. Don't add that in. Feel free to, <laughs> feel free to air your dirty laundry out right here so yes. we can all read. We all need to, we all need to read it. Okay, so then... What did we say my friend's Molly. name is? Molly uh, said, I just want to ask everyone a question. Okay. If you pay more than $400 to a photographer and they promise 15 images, but you only got 13 because two of them were duplicates, you wouldn't be super happy about it, right? And when you ask about it and they tell you, they'll give you extra images for $150 each, even though you were promised 15 but only got 13 to begin with. That'd be pretty shitty, right? 150 bucks each? Per yeah. picture. Those gotta be hot pictures. Hottest pictures. And then they tell you, if you leave good reviews for them, they will give you extra images for free, but still never delivered on that promise. That'd be frustrating, right? Yeah. What if the photographer had a Polaroid of you, and you took it, since you didn't get all of the images you were promised in the contract? Would that be stealing? Or is it your picture because you never got the ones you were promised to begin with? Uh, I mean, I'm in the legal sense, it's stealing. Yeah. But I you know in the moral sense. I'm just glad that these are all hypotheticals and they just didn't happen. Mm, mm-hmm. <gasps> and then Tiffany responded, ooh, <laughs> I would start by reiterating that, sure, once I have the 15 images, I'll pay for more. But currently I'm still owed two and do screenshots or something showing the duplicates. 
Mm-hmm. Then she says, as far as the Polaroid, if said picture were now in my po- possession, I'd guess I'd explain that that could count as one of the images that is still owed or use it as collateral until you get the two digitals. Okay. The contract isn't being abided by. And then my friend Molly replied with, and when said photographer was called out about it, she got bitchy and said, since you're not happy, I'm just going to delete all your pictures then. Whoa. That's that seems. Isn't that wild? Illegal. You're right. Like now the business is thieving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then Molly says, what about just upholding your contract? And because she usually charges over a thousand dollars for her work, she thinks because you only paid four hundred that she's doing it for free. Doing it for free. When she's the one who offered her services for that four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars is not cheap. I don't care if it's less money than you normally charge. It's still a lot of money for a photographer. Mm-hmm. Then Somebody else said, she said that to you too. She's toxic. No wonder she loses friends and clients so quickly. Whoa. Uh Uh-oh. Then someone else said, for those needing a little more info from another perspective, check out my Google review and read the screenshots I took from photographer. Sucks we don't have that Google review. Then she said, I ain't afraid to name drop. Uh -uh. (laughs) Uh-uh. And then I'm not going to name drop, but... Then gave the business name and the photographer's name. Someone else replied and said they deleted all the reviews that weren't five stars. Can you do that? <coughs> we need to start doing that. <laughs> we really need to figure out if we can do that. <laughs> can, no, so can you do that? <laughs> uh, thanks for putting their name out there. Now I know who to avoid. Calling out customers on your Facebook page is unprofessional and tacky. Sorry that you're dealing with this. Um... Uh, someone says a thousand dollars for boudoir photos. Absolutely not. She better be a photographer to the stars for that kind of money. And I'm one who believes people should be paid well for their services, but that's just ridiculous. I I don't know the price of, like I don't know what a fair price would be. I don't either. But to say that a thousand dollars is a photographer for the stars, you're crazy. Yeah. Well, C list. It's still cr- kind of crazy. Are you saying that's too expensive or not expensive enough? Not expensive enough. For a stars. Yeah, for a star. 400 seems like... 400 bucks for 15 pictures? It's one that's like... It's a lot, but it's like... That that's pretty average sense. around here. I was going to say, like, I, I'm thinking from, like, a time... Like, yeah. a dollar per hour amount for the photographer. Mm-hmm. You add in, like, the editing time. That's probably... You're probably going to get about yeah 20 bucks an hour. If you work on it for 20 hours, it's 400 yeah. bucks. That seems fair. So then... Somebody else comments and said, as a photographer, I'm betting that she didn't have 15 good ones. That's so exactly she what it is. Under delivered. That's wild, though, that she's calling you a thief over a Polaroid. Yeah, but you, you should disclose that. Yeah. If you only snap 13 good ones, mm-hmm. disclose that and say, I'll refund you, you know, yeah. 80 bucks. Well, Molly replied to that and said, nope. I sat down with her and went over every single photo that I liked. And then she decided which ones she was going to give. Interesting. Some of which were in the don't like pile. So not only did she under deliver, she gave ones that we didn't even like. This whole experience was supposed to be about empowering us. And she really just shat on us. Okay. Hate that for you. Uh, Here you go. She's on it saying that she's going to call the cops and stuff. Had everyone hyped up thinking that I stole lingerie or jewelry or something and not just a fucking Polaroid, which wasn't stolen. It was returned to its rightful owner, which I have qualms with saying because a photographer has the intellectual property. Right. Of your picture. If they're the one that took that picture, it's not your property just because it's you in the picture. It's. Yeah. The photographers. Like, that's been right. proven in court, right? Yeah, and courts are always right. Yeah. Mm, famously. <laughs> no, no, absolutely. But I also get Molly's defense of, I was promised 15 fucking pictures. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, is it weird that the photographer provided lingerie and jewelry? Um, Jewelry, no, that's pretty common. Lingerie Props is... Props and stuff is fine. Maybe if it's, like, a flowy, lacy thing that okay. would, like... Yeah, like a robe or something. Yeah. Okay. That's possible. As opposed to, like delicates okay well that makes more sense i would just be worried about the fit on like anything 
Yeah. Like if you had like a communal, like skimpy, like tight thing, I'd be like, how, uh, where's your ROI as a business owner? And like, how many people are going to get to use that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they're part of a like specific boudoir, like Facebook group. Um, <laughs> and the photographer put a post on there that said that Molly came into my studio tonight and stole property from me. She will be removed from this group. And if you want to leave with her, here's the door. Don't steal from my business. Okay. Oh. Molly, Molly, what are you doing, girl? Some people are the on Polaroid? there commenting like, what a sad person. How horrible to disrespect someone this way. Not only did this person partake in a free product and services, but then turn around and steal from that same business. Karma's a bitch. Free? Taylor reference. So what I'm gathering here is that they did a group boudoir session for this photographer. Okay. And okay, yeah, yeah. that was like the free session because they were doing like a promotional okay. like situation. Kind of thing. Yeah. Like a group rate type deal. So the the group session, I think, was free. And then if you did it, you got like a heavily discounted okay. personal like individual session. Gotcha. So I think that's how she got the the four hundred dollar versus the thousand dollar. Right. And then she said, and just so everyone is aware, here is the receipt of payment since she keeps claiming that she has receipts to prove that it was all free. So then she's got the email confirmation from the business. Mm-hmm. So then the same photographer puts on a different Facebook group for boudoir photographers. Okay. And says, What would you do? I don't know. Maybe I just need to vent and let it all out. This past summer, I chose a group of five brand ambassadors. They received a regular session and I held a group session. I was told they all loved their session and they raved about them on social media. One of the women missed the group shoot and her friend that was there told me that she was unable to attend because her sitter no showed. Out of nowhere, a few weeks ago, she sent me a ton of messages about how I owed her a free session because she missed the group session and how she hated her experience and her photos. I explained that the group shoot was a bonus. And I was unable to make it up to her by giving her a free session. She continued to bash me and tell me that I was a bad business owner and that I left her in the dark. I have no idea what that meant. Fast forward to last night, I hosted a Christmas party and her friend came. Her friend stole this woman's Polaroid off my client wall. I messaged her and asked her to return it. She ignored me, so I let her know I would be filing a police report because this, because she stole something from my studio. I also made a post in my group calling her out for stealing from me. She responded eventually telling me that she saw it and felt angry for her friend. And since it's a picture of her, it's not my property, which we've discussed. That's Mm -hmm. not the case. Uh, I'm really unsure of what to do here, but I'm also so angry and I feel so violated that someone would steal from me. Even though it's something that small, it wasn't hers to take. I'd really like to send those two a cease and desist letter and get them to truly leave me alone, but I don't want to waste my time. So I suppose I'd love to hear uh, thoughts. And then she goes, I'm never doing ambassadors again. Holy hell. Interesting. So that's the photographer side of it. The ambassadors thing is even more interesting. Yeah. Because that is you, like, you're paying them, or I'm sorry, they're paying you with exposure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, that's the point. The deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Molly said, here's the proof that she said we get a free mini session. But, you know, according to her side of the story, that wasn't promised. And then sends the receipts. Interesting. Um, so then Molly says, so she's allowed to bash me, but I'm not allowed to tell my side of the story. Yeah. Okay. Then gets a cease and cease, cease and desist letter says, dear Molly, I'm writing you this letter to document a period of harassment I have received from you starting December 4th. This harassment includes negatively talking and posting on social media about my business theft from my business Sending harassing messages to my business. I demand that you cease and desist from this activity as soon as possible. And in any event, within zero days from your receipt of this letter, if action is not taken by you to cease and desist within the given time frame, I will have no choice but to take appropriate legal action against you. I guess that's a cease and desist letter. I feel like everybody here sucks. If I'm going to be honest, everybody here sucks. The photographer... (laughs) You're bad at your job and you're like trying to backpedal now. But like also, I don't Molly is 
at this point, it's like, how much energy are you putting into this? I feel like. At, well, I mean, her own character is being lambasted on the internet. I guess, but I don't, I don't know. I feel like this is going nowhere. <laughs> it just... started out relatively lower stakes than it's become. Yeah. It, it does keep snowballing. Is there... Yeah. How does it end? Is there any kind of resolution? Um, the cease and desist? The cease and desist is interesting. Because you're supposed... You, you give a cease and desist to stop illegal activity. Yeah. And I don't think talking ill about a business online... No. ...is illegal. I think... This is like one of those weird lawyer tactics where it's like you just I'm gonna them. send you like something that looks legal and official to yeah. scare people. That happened, didn't that happen to Danny Gonzalez? I think he was doing it to other people. Well, maybe it happened to him originally, and then he started doing it to other people because he talked about like a local like Chicago radio, radio show. Yeah, and they sent him a cease and desist. He's like, I'm just talking about your show. Yeah, it's well, then I think he started doing it as a mean to other people. Ah. Like, if you proceed to do this, I'm gonna have to get legal involved, yeah. and it would stop anybody from doing shit. That's really funny. Then she says, there's a bunch of comments, whatever. Then my friend says, a lot of people come out of the woodwork when shit like this happens and share some pretty interesting information. If you want a photographer, a boudoir photographer, right? We've established that there could be nudes involved. Mm -hmm. If you want a photographer who shows her husband all your photos, you know who to go to. Interesting. That seems bad. That seems bad. If the husband's not involved with the business. Yeah. Yeah. And for anyone oh, still in her very group, artistic eye. you might want to go through the list of members because there might be someone in there that's not part of the women only category. Yikes. What a twist. They're all bad, I feel like. Less bad. Molly's less bad. But I feel like we're getting nowhere. We're, Molly, you're wasting your energy. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, don't fault, her, I don't fault Molly too much. Is her job to do... Is she a model or something? No. Or how did she get involved in this... Boudoir does she have an ambassador? Shoot? Yeah, like does she have like a following? Um, she did a boudoir shoot a while back, so uh, she might have been in like a group mm-hmm. and okay. then got chosen by this photographer for okay. a brand ambassador or whatever. Um, because she posted some from like her first boudoir yeah. shoot, like I don't know, eight months ago or something. And I guess companies do this all the time, where they'll just like find people and like mm-hmm. just dangle a little bit of free stuff to yeah. get you know word of mouth. Yeah, like we have a friend in Chicago who would just post and just get like comments all over shit. Like, oh, would love to sponsor you with this makeup oh, yeah. brand or whatever. And it's like that's crazy. This is just a person Posting on their pictures. personal Instagram, but yeah. that's not an influencer doing that. So then uh, she posted after that and said that if you want to work with a great photographer, and she recommended one. So, yeah. Wow. I feel like that sums it up pretty nicely. So some good juicy little Facebook drama for you. You gotta be bad at your job to not be able to get fifteen good pictures, right? Yeah. Well, especially if the client tells you. Well, what that's she what likes. I'm saying. The client picked out yeah. the pictures that she liked and wanted and then ones that she didn't like and, and what, didn't want. What's the harm of sending a couple stankers? You know? Yeah. If you send me fifteen good if you send me I mean, I guess that Molly would be more in tune with it mm-hmm. but like if i went and got my pictures taken and they sent me 15 of them and two of them are like those don't look good but maybe i just don't know what good pictures look yeah. like. so that's the thing <laughs> when christian i got engaged my best friend out in colorado she does photography professionally as well and she came home and did our engagement photo shoot and when we were done for the day she let me go through all thousand photos that she took the day and we picked out our favorites together. And some mm-hmm. of the ones that I loved the most, she didn't like as a photographer because one like aspect <coughs> of it was out of focus. Yeah. Like she wanted one of the pictures is of us about to kiss or something. Ugh. The wind's blowing through my hair and it's just like a beautiful photo. And my ring is out of focus. I think my ring or my hand was like on his face or neck or whatever. And it was out of focus. She's like, what were that's you- not a good photo though. What were you getting into, Molly? Oh, what is that? What is a fuzz on your on your little your haunches about, huh? What's that about, Molly? What's that about, Molly? You little you little goofball. Leave her be. Yeah, it, I definitely get like the artistic versus the sentimental. Yeah, yeah. But she let me have that picture anyway because I I as a client didn't give a shit that my ring wasn't in focus. 
I don't right. care about the ring. I care about the the connection between yeah. me and my fiance at the time, you know? I care about the price tag on the ring. Mm -hmm. And that was in focus. <laughs> don't care about that either. <laughs> 700 bucks. <laughs> as close as Moissanite, baby. Fuck yeah. Get that lab I thought that was diamond. Eric on your, on your wedding bed. 700 bucks? Moissanite. Moissanite. <laughs> I'm going to just go ahead and give you one of those. Give Bile. us another one, Richard. How about that? Oh, okay. I have no idea what, about splitting this episode. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember where we started recording. Uh, about six minutes. Okay. Really? So, uh, We've there. fucked around for 37 minutes at this point? Yeah. Hey, folks, see you on the other side of this ad break. <laughs> And welcome back on this side of the podcast, where we open up with a little thing where I can't wait for Christian to... Tell me about that circle, George. Thank God Christian gets to tell me about that circle, That's, George. I'm so glad I get to tell you about this circle, George. And if you're Josh, new here, we just kind of fuck around. We just kind of do whatever the frick we want. This week's circle, George, more ponders with pissy. Yes! All right! Not sponsored by any companies this time because none of. Well, the, what I don't think we can have any of this. In. Arguably, so everybody smoke it if you got it. This is stuff you think of when you're high. These are things I, not me. Allegedly, allegedly, this is something who would high might allegedly potentially think about. Yeah, they might be like, and write this <laughs> thought down. Do British bands not do encores because they don't believe in tipping? Ooh. You ever heard of a British band doing an encore? You tip? Who are you tipping? An encore is kind of like a tip. You're giving them a special little thing at the end. Interesting. Uh. British people don't believe in tipping. And the only British band I've ever seen live? No encore. I saw a British band live this year and they did a. They're notorious about their encore length. Fuck. The Cure. Well, come on. They're too big. They After a certain point, you have to give it to the okay. people. I'm trying to think of any other bands at Riot Fest that were British did an encore. Not really. At a festival they did an encore? They're a headliner. Yeah, Never yeah, mind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They came out and that played like more seven more songs. <laughs> that was even more fucked up for a second. Encores to me are so silly because it's like, we know what you're doing. Especially when they're like, do they play their biggest song? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, did I miss that somehow? Did they not play their biggest song? They didn't do Friday I'm in Love. Weird. They played 18 B-sides. <laughs> Didn't hit Friday I'm in love. Weird. <laughs> so do we think Jesus was actually like a wine guy? Or was it like something he did at a wedding once and that's kind of what just stuck? Interesting. Hmm. What a thought. <laughs> Interesting. Nothing, you know? Like, what that suck? Like, if do he you was like, fear that? if he was more of a like mead fellow and he's yeah. like, fuck, I went too sweet with it. Like, the fucking, the, the bride asked for wine. I do wine one fucking time and now I'm the wine guy? Mm. Are you fucking kidding me? How about you? You're just the brewski brother. <laughs> also, I, I guess I don't know the biblical story super well. What was the context of the water being turned into wine? Was it at a party or was this people who needed a wedding? I think. Oh, it was a wedding. Pretty okay. sure. Like it wasn't people who needed hydration. It wasn't like it wasn't like the bread to feed forty thousand people. Yeah, no, this is more of like <laughs> him being a chill ass dude. Okay, okay. This one goes out to all of our fucking book readers and poets. So I guess Teo, mostly you. Is there transcendental literature, but about shitty U.S. infrastructure? Okay. I want a, a Thoreau's pond about fucking a grease puddle outside that looks like a pretty rainbow. Interesting. Make that, it, give me make it nice, happen. Give me a nice poem about a retaining pond. Interesting. Make it happen. No, I'm not doing that. Give me like give me like a stanza or three about like birds on 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 electric electric. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Power lines. Here's the, here's that thing. I the idea of transcendentalism. I love it. Yeah, I love it so much. Reading it, oh, so fucking boring. It puts me to sleep. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be doing. Transcendentalism is getting on trains across the United States. I think so. Okay. No, it's that album by the Postal Service. I saw them live. I do. Or is it Death Cab for Cutie? Saw them Death live. Death Cab too. for Cutie. Fuck. I knew I would get that wrong. The uh, Postal Service is like things from above or something like that, mm. isn't it? 
I saw them both live. <laughs> Everybody goes on about tomatoes being a fruit or a vegetable, but what the fuck is a cucumber? A vegetable. <laughs> what do you mean? What makes it a vegetable? What makes a tomato a fruit? The way it grows. Okay. 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 So that's, that's what makes a cucumber a vegetable. Okay, um, how does a cucumber grow? On a vine with seeds in the middle. Hmm. And a cucumber grows on a vine with seeds in the middle. I don't know hmm. what you're talking about, Joshua. Yeah, you didn't put enough thought into it. You hmm. thought this was a stupid question. There's actually thought behind it. It's related hmm. to a fucking watermelon, guys. Are you kidding me? We're just going to glaze Whoa. over this? Hmm. Whoa. I don't think fact so. check that. I don't. I, I mean, what is a cucumber if not a long, unsweet I'm watermelon? Pretty, I've heard this twice. But the rind of a watermelon is supposed to taste like a cucumber. People that eat it say it tastes like cucumber. Wow. I've seen probably an Instagram reel or something of someone cooking the watermelon rind. It's like a cucumber. And it looked good. So could you pickle a watermelon? Yeah, you can pickle anything. Interesting. You can't pick your family. You can't pickle your family, but you can pickle your friends? You can pickle a ball. You could pickle. Pickle your family. I'm pretty sure you'll go to jail. <laughs> Unless we consent. That's true. Mm. I don't know. It's not like assisted suicide, right? Wasn't there a case <laughs> of like a dude family pickling? No, no, no. A dude like consensually like sought someone out and was like, "Hey, I want to chop off my hand or something." He cut off his penis and had a chef cook it for him. They shared the meal. Is that what it was? Pretty sure. Pretty sure it's in Japan. Mm. Could you imagine? But they, didn't they both inside? go to jail? That's well, crazy that he went to jail <laughs> for chopping his for having someone chop his dick off and eating it. <laughs> yeah, that's. I get the he dude says, like violence for hire or something. I but like uh, hiring a hitman for your own penis shouldn't be a crime. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry if that makes me a little bit of a libertarian. I suppose. <laughs> I guess my when I said. I can't imagine doing that. My In my brain, it's like, if you're cutting off your own penis, you can't have anesthetics. You can't what? Have anesthetics. Oh, yeah. anesthesia. Okay. I thought you were saying, like, aesthetics. Like, yeah. It can't like, it's good. not you the vibe. Have, you can't have, a, like, a cute little yeah. penis cut off. The dong shui would be all off. That's really good. That's really good. Is the chicken crossing a road joke or just a neurodivergent test? Interesting. I've got two carrots now, Joshua. Well, you get it back on the half. I don't know oh, if you so should throw that one. That one's got eyeballs, and it's going to hurt. It's not going to hurt. This is the softest <sighs> carrot. Have you ever been... <sighs> no, I'm the oldest sibling, Christian. I've never been hit with anything. That is very soft, but the eyeballs would hurt. It's uh, not going to hurt, you big fucking pig. Explain. I don't get the chicken crossing the road joke, and even when people try to explain it to me, I go, mm. I th- um, Did you know that it's... Because they get to the other side. So, but the, what's? I feel like that's the biggest retcon in the world. I don't know what that means. Is the, is they I feel like the history of it. The last like year, people are like, yeah, it's about the chicken dying, and it's like, oh, no way, that's the joke, right? Isn't I, the joke's got to just be like, why did the chicken cross the road just, to get to the other side? Right. It's like, oh, haha, ha, yeah, of course, that's why, if, yeah. To get to the other side, right? Which is like the afterlife. I feel. I feel but like that that's feels, been that's fucked up. That's people shoehorning their own agenda. I think into it's it. been retcon. That's my feeling. What does retcon mean? Change the history of you said. Yeah, but what is what is? I feel like that's like retroactively changed. Oh, is like okay. kind of a portmanteau. Okay, a portmanteau maybe. It's, no, yeah, maybe. It's, you know, it's like in Star Wars. Like originally, I don't know. Midichlorians. Midichlorians is like a retcon. So when you change to the lore, that's already been established. Like in Doctor Who, when they changed the thing in later seasons, that way... You can only have so many reincarnations of a doctor, now they've passed that number of how many times you can come back as a yeah, doctor. it's just a retcon. I like how he was like definitely something that she would know something about, but I don't know any specifics, and then Christian actually knew specifics, yeah. and I'm appreciative of it's that. It's like in Supernatural, how that thing happened, and then later they had to change it, so that way it would make sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you fill in the blanks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sleep talking you and walking. You could say several things about that show. <laughs> all retcons. Sleep talking and walking. Nature or nurture? Hmm explain <laughs> does Olsen just know how to sleep talk because he sleeps next to me sleep talking oh. or what the fuck is going on in our brains that's like i'm gonna sleep talk tonight i'm gonna get the fuck up and i'm gonna walk around in my sleep or is it like genetic because my dad would sleepwalk and sleep talk yeah 
and so does my sister Do but you? my mom doesn't and i don't what's the gene what's the sleepwalking gene that makes it nature um what's the sleepwalking gene <laughs> oh is it like a it's it's like a trisomy three or something? Fuck. It's like no. one of those. It's like those chromosomes that like isn't important, and so they never even do research on it. And then and then it just makes you a sleepwalker. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Um, speaking of sleep things, this is a super quick aside. Uh, remember the dude that was fucking his bed in his sleep? Mm-hmm. I got a DM from a listener. It says, "Please don't use my name," but I was listening to this week's episode whenever that came out. About the dude, about the roommate fucking his bed. My husband and I have been married for three years and he has sexomnia. There is a ton of information about it, but it's similar to sleep talking and walking. My husband does, does sleep talk a lot, but he will initiate sexy time. And then after he won't remember starting it or really what happened up to a certain point. I don't know about what was wrong with that roommate, but it could be something he's unaware of interesting interesting it's a little giving them aside. a bone is the website like www.sleepsomnia or sexsomnia is totally a real thing dot com <laughs> i don't know <laughs> no babe i just i don't remember anything about sex I'm what joking. is to you here joke. why was tap dancing so common when we were kids i feel like yeah tap what? dancing was a thing back in the day because it's something that's really easy for little children to try and be introduced to a specific type of is art. Is it still around? Are people sure. still tap dancing? Yeah. You want me to sign you up for no, tap dance classes? not at all. I feel like any time... <laughs> not sh- at all, he says. Any time a show had to do, and still has to do a talent show, There's some someone kind of... comes in and tap dances. Yeah, it's like a meme at this point. I mean, what we do in the shadows, season four, there's tap. I cannot believe that you would spoil that for us. That's fine. I am fine with you spoiling that for us. But I just, I don't, I just can't imagine that there's actually tap dancing classes around anymore. It's Unless you live in a is. city where it's like an old, like, Russian grandma <laughs> that's teaching tap and she's very strict about it. It would be really embarrassing to go to a tap dancing class in the year of our Lord 2023. Yeah. So you're saying that I should cancel Olsen's <laughs> tap dancing Absolutely. class? If you don't want him to be a social pariah, yeah. Listen, he just learned how to walk. I feel like I should teach him... Or uh, sign him up for tap dance now. There's got to be so much, so many more cooler things that he could do. Ballet is cooler than tap. Ballet is so much cooler. Ballet, you get made fun of a little bit. And then, like, at some point in your life, it's like, what the fuck? You can just do front flips and shit. And then yeah. it's like, it becomes cool again. Hmm. There's a point, there's a small point you get made fun of. And then it becomes cool. And you're like, yeah. crazy athletic. Mm-hmm. Tap dancing, you are not athletic. And it's lame forever. Tap dancing is worse, like, juggling. Yes. Like you'll there's there's a peak to juggling to where it's like I get it. You know what I mean? Unless you're doing chainsaws, I get it. Well and then there's a peak. And yeah. it's like, okay, yeah, it's whatever. But tap never even reaches that peak. It's like, whoa, yeah. I've never seen tap so cool that it's like I kinda wish I could learn to tap. You've never seen like an Irish river dance? That's oh not tap. That is God. tap. They don't put little clackers on. Yes, their feet. they do. Well then I hate it when they do that. You lie. That's the coolest shit. No. no, it's not the cool. It's very lame. It's so cool. What do you mean? You're just confused because they're hot. They're the only hot tap dancers. I mean, maybe. Final one of the if, night. If here's my general rule of thumb: if Lindsey Sterling does it, not cool. Yeah. Hey, that's all my Lindsey Sterling haters out there. Why do we fuck. hate Lindsey Sterling? She's a little cringe. She's just a millennial. She's a millennial. I thought she was like, what's our parents? Gen Thanks. Xer? She might be. Your parents. Oh, yeah. You're She's boomers. just the internet punching bag for things sometimes. Huh. Probably mainly because she's a woman, but also because she's very cringe. Is she cringe? Interesting. 37 years young, she is. Huh. And this is the violinist, right? Or yep. The, it, she does Doesn't like... she have problematic views? I hope so. I'm almost In the sense of like, does. it would make sense with her character arc. Um, final word of the night, onomatopoeia. What? It's when somebody's name fits perfectly with their personality. Whoa, you just made up a whole new thing. Yeah. Wow. Like Elon. Yeah. He's like, yeah, you should be named Elon, you fucking weirdo. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm about it. Who were you thinking of when you, what, like, what name did you hear? Here's the thing. I don't remember. I was allegedly high when I wrote the idea allegedly. down. 
And it was more. Here's the problem with it. I wrote it down, and then going back through this list, I was like, that should have been its own circle jerk, you dumbass. Yeah. Well, Which, hey, future now, circle jerk idea. In three weeks, we got a circle jerk, baby. Good call. Lindsay Serling is a Mormon. Okay. okay. Or at least was raised Mormon. I mean, this is all off of a uh, Reddit post. It's r slash ask feminists. Mm-hmm. And someone's saying, does Lindsay Sterling hate women's rights? And I clicked on the tweet that they linked. So it's from 2023. Jan- or, I'm sorry, January 23, 2017. Uh, you're on the trendy side of this debate and your side was heard. I wasn't trying to start a war, but I'm allowed my opinion. And unfortunately, because Twitter is a dog shit app, I cannot see what that was a reply to. Okay. But people are saying that she has, yeah, pretty problematic viewpoints. I remember it being a thing because I was like, Ooh. she's one of those people where it's like, I guess I know who it is. I mean, are, she has fans. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> people That's people so are crazy. More so She's very talented. Yeah, she is fucking good. I remember the videos being good. I just saw a video with her in it like four days ago or something. And that's Ponders with Pissy. Thanks, Christian. It's one of my favorite Circle Jerseys. They are good ones. Sometimes it's hard for me to remember Honor to write down. Bia, huh? yeah. They don't... Lindsay, Lindsay Sterling made a tweet about how she doesn't support the Women's March in 2017. Which the Women's March was during Trump's inauguration. Mm. Which is a very strange thing to come out and be like, we need to stand up for the women in Guatemala who face high domestic violence rape and second highest rate of hiv and aids and it's like women here also <laughs> face those things like what yeah a strange strange day to tweet that Lindsay sterling <laughs> anywho anywho after the circle dirge we like to do a listener submitted sound do you guys have one to preface our listener submitted story okay i'm just gonna i don't have one pulled up so if you want to send a listener submitted sound, do that over at judgespod at gmail.com. Title it listener submitted sound, and then we'll play it before our listener submitted story. It's actually a really sleek idea that we have implemented here over on the Judges podcast. So this one uh, says, hello, oft submitter Sprite here. Sprite! Again, got to change my name on Gmail. I Sprite Nicotine on Twitch. Really do fear that we've done this one before. This uh, is from uh, November 21st. Title. unpopular opinion although i have i know some have it where they only want stories and feedback and this is not my take this i think this could make a fine addition to the circle dirge feel free to use whenever and oh. nonetheless nope we haven't done this i just read it enjoy piss babies united so they want this added to the board okay also if you ever see emergency phd pepper in your streams this is an alt account of mine i'm everywhere and nowhere all at once no thoughts head empty there's nothing but a germinating carrot in here love that px 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 and so on thank you sprite the circle church on the judges pod it's the circle church on the judges pod oh they're churching around the circle they're jerking down the circle. They're jerking down the circle far too long. Oh piss. Oh piss. Go, oh, piss or go piss? I thought it said O oh, piss. I think it said O oh, piss. That's fucked up because it's definitely targeted at me because Josh comes in with concise circle jerks. Yeah, not always. Not always. <laughs> Pretty much. Structured. Um, oh, mine are structured. I have bullet points. If this is a sound <laughs> submission, what do I what do or do I need to move it? Sound submissions played. You literally ended this circle dirge with I got to here and I was like, fuck, this could have been a whole other thing. Sounds, <laughs> submissions played. All right. I just wanna give I wanna dip our little toes in it so we have an idea what's to come. What was the name of it? Anamana Bias? Yeah. Oh, that's such a good name. Thank you. Hi Ricky. Hello. Hello. So I'm a longtime listener of the pod, and I have this sh- story to share. Use my name if you'd like. This is from Alexandria. Ocasio Cortez. <gasps> no, that would be huge. That for would us. be insane. <laughs> you just be a little more vague about it. You just you just have an Instagram DM from AOC, and you're just like, oh, it's from Alexandria. We go no, back. We go way back. I moved to a new city to start my PhD in biochemistry last year. Nerd. I'm so Nerd. impressed. Are you impressed with me? You just have a bachelor's. Yuck, so, idiot. No. Oh, PhD. I'm, I skipped over that part. <laughs> and decided to finally get Tinder since I'm adjusted to the area. I'm on a Tinder date for a week and I match with a guy. We exchange numbers and are talking slash flirting. 
he's a med student and makes a joke about how he'd love to give me a physical. And I respond in a flirty way telling him, I bet you would love to give me a physical. Nerds are so lame. Can you cough for me, please? <laughs> Look to the left and cough, please. <laughs> Oh, it's so, so funny that this hot. is hot and works and it would work on me is what i'm saying it would work i would also just love to point out that at the beginning of this episode Uh-oh. you were talking about how you sent a dm to make a friend uh-huh. and accidentally mm-hmm. and i was a biochemistry major and he's a pre-med well there you have it kids uh then we move on and keep talking mostly about my tattoos and school well mid-conversation this man sent me erotica that he wrote for me Okay, a wordsmith. We matched two days before this, so I was awestruck. I feel like I need... It was that good? I need you to judge this man, so I've included what he wrote. Okay, real quick question. Awestruck slash pause or slash (laughs) neg? I think this is slash neg. Because it's sort of like you could say like the terrible power, and it's like, do you mean terrible as in like slash pause? Because that could be the way to use it. Or bad. <laughs> yeah, I I agree. I took it. I feel like awe has a positive or connotation. The to awful it. power. Sorry. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. I, am I ready? Did you not want to be entertained for a little? <laughs> Wait. Is that, are you not entertained? What I was is, watching a lot of gladiators. Are they gonna open up the quote for gladiator? <laughs> I guess you signed up in the right place. Because if you were here right now, I would literally start by passionately making out with you. I don't know if I can listen to this. I will give you so much attention to the way that I kiss and our tongues touch. I will grab you firmly and make you feel safe. I mean, this is kind of hot. Okay, that's not bad so far. Then, after a hot makeout session, I will start kissing your neck just the way you love it with both of my lips. A little kissing (laughs) and then a little bite at the end. I will start on the middle of your neck and then make my way to the middle of your neck. Okay. Well, 180 degrees around. Yeah. <laughs> and kiss you even better right there. Maybe leave a hickey or two. No. Come Nothing on. We're, too crazy yet. We're too old to be giving hickeys, right? Come then on. I will make my way to your right ear. Make out with it. And oh. slowly bite it. Okay, that's hot. Making out with an ear? Slowly biting it. Because in my head, making out means there's tongue involved. I don't want your tongue in my ear. Well, it's doing a full exam. Okay. I will whisper in your ear. I'm coming. (laughs) Did you not want to be entertained? Get yourself ready. I will fucking pull you from your neck, choke you against the wall until you are a little out of breath. Oh. After that, I will give you a hard yet light slap on your face and tell you that's exactly how you will feel by the end of the night. Out of breath. I will pull you from your hair into my arms, kiss you quickly, and get a quick, hard bite of your lower lip. Then I will pick you up and take you into the room, throw you on the bed. You better have some hot-ass lingerie on. At this point, you would know. (laughs) I will have a Polaroid and my phone camera, and we'll take some sexy pictures to record that night. Winky face. Only $400. After we take the pics... I will tell you, get ready for the adventure. I will blindfold you, push you on the bed yet again, and I will... Sorry. I thought it was going to say cut off. It just says cuff. Uh, then I will pick you up, take you to the room, Ray, and then I will cuff your hands and your legs across the bed. Ah. Maybe grab another pick of that. Then I will start taking your lingerie off with my teeth. Ooh. This dude's got a thing for teeth. He should be a dentist. I will then choke you from your neck and tell you, get ready, babe. This is just the start. I would then take all my clothes off and make you feel my body rubbing against you. I will start up kissing you up from your neck and leave so many hickeys. I don't like the hickeys. I want you to be feeling yourself, but also cannot move me anywhere. She's handcuffed. I will go to your mid neck, then across your clavicle, leaving hickeys. He's like a slug. (laughs) (laughs) What's up with, I mean, a specific, maybe use some medical terms. Like, give me like hickeys and teeth. I'm going to leave you also your sagittal line. You know what I mean? Every time I say you, it's the letter U. And your is you are. Like, this dude is a medical student and yeah. can't even 
right like this is embarrassing well he's so hot and ready he's like i can't get the words out fast enough i can't mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm teeth and it's and weird to spell out lingerie and then hit him with a u uh-huh. well, he you so, better be wearing he spent so much time trying to get the autocorrect because it's, yeah. it's one of those words where it's like it's kind of even hard to get close yeah. up for autocorrect like, no not language it. not language <laughs> I will then go and start going to your boobs. Deeps. I will start leaving hickeys on your boobs Mm. and under boob and side boob. Mm, All the boobs. Making sure I get every part of it. I will then start licking around your nipples. Let me guess, hickeys? (laughs) Teeth. But not even going to touch your nipple this time. We'll start working my way down on your stomach and then go down... To your... Say it. What did he write? Pussy. That's so fucking... Well, how is that the part that freaks you out? I don't know. Out? It just felt too vulgar he to He talked me. about kissing her with both lips. Yeah. <laughs> Implying that there's a one lip kiss somewhere that we haven't figured out. <laughs> <laughs> like a slug. Like a slug, say. dude. <laughs> um, I'm a make out with your inner leg. And pinch the other so hard that it will make you scream stop for a second. So you want to be violent. Like you want to hurt me in a way that I don't like. You already slapped her. Yeah. F- not about that. Uh, and this, yeah. I will start making my way up to your other set of lips and how wet they are from calling my name. I will then start making out with them, but yet not touching your clit or getting to your pussy while I'm making out with it. Okay. Unexpectedly, I will get an ice cube and stick it on your neck. The ice cube Houdini. method. Fixing all the hickeys. He's going back and fixing, covering his trails. True doctor. Once that happens, I will go put that ice cube in my mouth and start going down your body with it. Oh, my God. The louder you get over the night, the more slapping and pinching you will get and the longer you'll wait. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> I haven't liked this from the start. This... Yeah, this is a bold guess at her interests. Yeah. There are some people totally would be down for this. Insane to send this. Two days into yeah. knowing someone. Yeah. This is my least favorite sentence so far. <laughs> I will then start rubbing my dick over your wet pussy and not make you touch me in any way. I will unblind. You're blindfolded this whole time. I will unblind your <laughs> eyes and literally make you watch me finish in front of you. And I won't even come on you, but will make sure I make nice ass sounds just to satisfy you for a lil. Lil. Not a little bit. Lil. <coughs> then I will free your leg cuffs and turn you around doggy style. Not the arm cuffs, so she's tangled up. Just Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to fuck your shoulders up. Yeah, your, your shoulders will be dislocated. In Don't the, in worry, the... I'm a doctor. I'll fix them. <laughs> and start slapping your ass with my hand and then kiss it. I will make sure that your ass has my handprints on it. And as you are sitting that way, maybe I'll take a picture of you again. A winky face. I will literally have you scream my name, but not. His name's but not. Mm. Ah, Then I will turn you back around and start eating you out so well while your hands and legs are cuffed again. I will wait until you come and scream my name, wanting me to be inside of you. But guess what? Guess what? I already came. I will let you wait again. Because I my refractory period. Didn't you already come earlier? Yeah, but you didn't come on her. This next next sentence, Christian looks like a winner. (laughs) I will let you wait again by rubbing my dick against your clit when it's so sensitive and make you come another time. Wait, when did she come? I will then give you some time. (laughs) I'll give you some peace of mind and give you the tip and pull you towards me. After that, I will fully uncuff you and will give you some control of me. You get to do whatever you want for five minutes. What a gentleman. And I will get another key that you don't know about so I can uncuff myself. (laughs) Ha! Wait, he says ha, all caps. Wait, if his hands are cuffed, how is he going to uncuff it? Is he fucking Harry Houdini? He's, he's like, been watching a lot of David Blaine. He's going to throw <laughs> it up. It was under his tongue the whole time, and he has to, like, Oreo move it over talk to Talk like his. bubble baths. You're trying to <laughs> dirty talk like... Oh, yeah, dude. I, you might want to give me a hickey. You say fucking wet. That's such a good bubble bath. <laughs> And from this point, I will put you in doggy and literally keep hitting it inside of you for the 40 minutes and not getting tired of you. 
Then I will give you some peace of mind again and let you take top. And I will go with the perfect pace. Does any woman want to have sex for, at no. this point, probably over an hour, but 40 minutes even? From penetration? <laughs> yeah. No. No woman wants One that. One position? <laughs> no. <laughs> the same position, 40, knees are just raw at this point. Yeah. You better have a high thread count sheet. On the bed and on the ground until you come from the inside for the first time. After this, once you come and I come so many times and you cannot walk with all the hickeys on your body. What? Why are the hickeys causing her to not be able to walk? We will take some more pics, take a quick shower together, and do another round there. Sounds terrible. Go on a dinner date and then come home to cuddle. That's cute. Oh, okay. That's and they cute. say chivalry is dead. That was vile. I hated every second of it and I wish I didn't read it out loud. I don't think that that was erotica. I feel like erotica is more vague and like teasy. That was like a manifesto. (laughs) That felt like a manifesto. It felt violent and in not a sexy way. Yeah. He he did man writing woman, but he wrote himself. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, he wrote what he thought women are, would yeah. think is hot. And insane that he wrote all that, so confident that he would be able to, his being would be able to withstand that when he would come within 10 seconds of a woman touching him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's how I felt. It felt like when people have to, like, when you write a resume, it's like, I have to make this sound so good. <laughs> I have to make this four minute fuck session sound so hot Excellent and pleasing. Excellent in Excel. <laughs> Clearly, this dude is good at vamping because he got into med school, but this is atrocious. And now, also, do we think he has this just saved and he sends it out? Like, this is just his manuscript that he's kind of oh, sending out? Oh, for sure. He fucking wrote this in high school and because of bad grammar, and then he's just never, never proofread it. Whoa. I don't like the word proofread. Why? That's what know. it is. Proof-read. I feel like proof should be past tense as well somehow. Proof did? Proved it ready. Yeah. Proved red. <laughs> we need, to, yeah, we need to Christian that up a little bit. <laughs> Interesting. This is what I mean when I say nerds are so fun. Like, what did I say? Nerds cringe. are cringe. Like, you got in. You're mm-hmm. in. There's this new subreddit I just found uh, called like texting. Ah, oh, what's it called? I can't remember. But people are like, they're sort of like meta gaming texting people. It's like a weird, in, okay, in, cr- chronically online like. Like text max state maxing of okay. like here's what I opened with here's her response what's the best thing I can respond with to get me an any, any percent speed run to a date like it's it mainly jokes you know what sucks yeah I have a friend that is kind of that way oh yeah I mean he in person he would fucking choke but he would like he could talk to any girl on like through text message and like get dates lined up and then he would yeah. just choke anytime he met a girl in person I can tell you later okay um but I, th- I think I know who it is. I'm sure you do. But I need to know for sure. Is me. This dude got in. He got in on a dumbass line such as, I would love to give you a physical. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he was in. And then he fucking ruined it. Yup. But, I mean, that was, I mean, how many pages of text was that? Too many. That could have been the most well-written prose. Mm-hmm. This man could have been s- swaxing transcendentalism out an oil slick rainbow. <laughs> and it would still be so creepy because you wrote a fucking novella. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that's disturbing. Yeah. I no, what if he's of really, really hot? Does that change anything no. about it? <sighs> no, because okay. then it just gives off even more serial killer vibes. Yep. Okay. You have to be like the most six in okay. order to even potentially get away with this. You have to look like he really relies on his words. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't be too ugly and you can't be too hot. Okay. Yeah. You give me like a like Jack Matthew Black, Bo- Bro- Broderick. Yeah, that's a good one too. Uh, uh, what's the what's the guy who's the coach show? Ted Lasso. Yeah, uh, like that guy. Uh, Sude- Jason yeah, Jason Sudeikis. Sudeikis. I think he's not super hot, not ugly. I could get a paragraph. Now, if you have if if fucking Ryan Gosling sends you that, you're like, well, what's going on? Yeah, something's not right with that guy. I would think that something's not right with that guy, no matter how hot or ugly they were. I am really curious for our listeners that listen to Smut and read Smut to be yeah. like, no, this is actually pretty spot on. That's actually, <laughs> for like a first attempt, that's actually pretty good. They mean maybe. I'd for like, hobby level, <laughs> that's not bad. But that's what I was meaning when I was saying, like, he did Man Writing Woman. Yeah. Where it is like, even for Smut, it's like, 
No, I don't think women like the ice cube method. I think that's a bit that a dude came up with to fuck with inexperienced dudes. Okay. It's literally a bit on scrubs. <laughs> and as a joke of how JD is bad at sex. <laughs> like, you do, that's not something that you want to do. Yeah. I've Fair tried enough. it. To negative reviews? Oh, mixed. mixed. We'll say. Okay. I didn't like it. You didn't like it. Yeah. Tongue was too cold. Mm. I was, that's what I was thinking too. I was like, but that's mm, when, I hold it with when my you tea? get to places, it's melted and you stick it somewhere warm. Well, that's warm like your tongue up. my mouth a little bit. Interesting. I you never got, got to that part. I got too much water <laughs> I got a melted in my mouth and so I'm just kind of <laughs> drooling almost. <laughs> you got a brain freeze. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I went down, I was like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no, it's not you. It's me. I swear. <laughs> I need you to put your pussy to the roof of my mouth. I got a brain freeze. <laughs> Vile. <laughs> oh, man. We need more stories, Erica. No, let's get out of here, right, bud. Let's head here. over to the... I do have one more that I could read. How long is it? I don't know. Hey, then we're going over to the... Weekly bonus episode. Now let's read it. Okay. okay. Fuck me. <laughs> You fool. <laughs> okay, vamp for like two seconds while I find it. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You were so annoying, but I, I liked it. <laughs> I'm still really caught up on the hickeys, if I'm being honest. The hickeys are crazy. Nobody wants hickeys. Nobody wants hickeys. Okay, it's a short one. Okay. Also sex related. Hickeys involved? Um, This was sent to me by mouth. Kaylee on Instagram. Thank you, Kaylee. My... Male 30 boyfriend won't stop watching Avatar The Way of Water during sex with me, male 27, for three weeks. This is a Reddit story? It's a really mm-hmm. good movie. I don't have the... Uh, It's r slash relationship underscore advice. So this is this is another example of sex lasting too long. Isn't that movie like three hours? Yeah. <laughs> I, male 27, and my uh, male 30 boyfriend have been in a relationship for over two years now. We love watching movies and cracking jokes during them, and at some point we decided to watch Avatar The Way of Water. At around an hour and a half in, we randomly decided to have sex while it was on, and when we finished, there was still about an hour left. Okay, 30 minutes. I think this is completely normal, but what's happening now is that every time we have sex, he puts the way of water on. Every time. It's been three weeks, and we've had sex maybe 10 to 14 times, and he keeps putting it on during sex. Can be a little superstitious. He had the best sex ever, and he's like, oh, fuck. Trying to chase the high? He says he wants to last the entire duration of the film, but why not just start a timer? I'm sick of watching this movie, and sex is becoming such a hassle. I mean, the visuals are really good. It's cooler to look at than a timer. I don't understand the obsession. Well, then you also, like, you can be like, oh, here's here's turning point one, like, rising action. So I, I know I got to last another two hours. Yeah. Two and a half hours. It's like, like when you're running a little race. Check, little checkpoints. Yeah. Hmm. Now, I would... It's it's a pretty good bit to say you fucked your way through Avatar Way of Water. It's pretty funny. It's a pretty good bit. Don't feel like that's that good of a bit at all. It's pretty good. Um, although I would fear, like, I wouldn't want to last the whole thing. I would want to come at the climax. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, that feels more natural. Sure. Like, let me come two hours and 40 minutes into it, and then we'll spend the last 20 cuddling. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I haven't seen it's Avatar real- Way of Water me neither. I haven't seen the first Avatar. But I'm pretty sure it's about Jake Sully's son. Okay. I'm assuming 18-year-old Avatar. Um, but I don't think I want to be fucking in a movie about Jake Sully's son. I want to be fucking during the movie about Jake Sully. Especially if he's an Avatar and he's fucking with his hair braid thing. Okay. Now I want to be fucking. I don't know enough about Avatar. I mean, we can make it happen. To... That'd be sick. Okay. Do you guys think you could fuck for the entire? No, no. and I do not want to. Screen length nope. of. Listen, I saw the first Avatar movie in theaters and I fell asleep. I fell asleep twice. Dude, that movie is so long. <laughs> you fell asleep, woke up, fell asleep. Well, it's still going. <laughs> <laughs> Wake me up with the sex scenes. <laughs> I never, I've never seen either of them. I have no interest to. Yeah, it feels like one of those movies that you can only see in theaters because it's mm-hmm. like we spent a billion dollars to make it look awesome, yeah. and then it's like. 
Oh, you think my 12 year old TV at home with the sound on the back of it, so it sounds like dog shit, even if I have it turned up to 75, is going to sound cool and look cool? No. <laughs> Fuck off, James Cameron, you bitch. Yeah. I saw a TikTok that said that, you know how um, we complain about shows and TV nowadays is too dark? Mm-hmm. That's because our TVs are dog shit and yeah, they we- make that quality for like super expensive high-end tvs right which you know five years down the line will be in not expensive tvs but they'll be making it for a even darker tv that exists mm-hmm. the I truest know. black there is yeah. dog house dog house dog house why what, are you in the dog house what did you want Ooh, weekly bonus episode over at judges pod patreon.com plus judges pod whole another hour plus is it annoying that i sing with it no no Okay, because I love to see Although it. people used to yell at me when I did it over the Circle Judge jingle. But it's your voice, so I feel like... That's true. You're allowed to. And you kind of harmonize yeah. with it. It's kind of sweet. And I do cut again. your mic off when I'm editing. That way it doesn't... I never have. Ooh, weekly, weekly bonus, bonus episode. episode. Erica, where else can they find us online? Uh, all over the place. Anywhere you have social media, we probably have that social media as well. And what's that handle? And that handle is at Judgies Pod. That's J U D G I E S Pod. If you're going to send us a fucking email, send us a fucking email. What were you going to say? Go ahead. If you're going to send us a fucking email, just send us a fucking email at judgespod at gmail.com. Please put in the title, whether it's a listen to submitted story, listen to submitted sound, or whatever the fuck you're sending us. And we're with that, we're, we're on to the bonus episode. And have a great week, everyone. The judges love you. I nailed it. Well, I nailed somebody it. was off. Dragging! Look dragging! At, look at Molly in her little bed. She is the cutest. She looks so cozy and sleepy and cute. I can't wait until she's vaccinated so we can have a puppy play date. Bye! Bye!